in the last few years the globe has witnessed the outbreak of diseases like coronavirus ebola virus zika virus and monkeypox there is one thing common between them that is the presence of asian and african reason hello and welcome to the in focus series section of drishti ias i am aisha singh and in today's video we will be discussing about that why the diseases outbreak are mostly happening in the asian and african regions so first let's see the timeline of the video what all we will be studying first we will be looking into what is the news then how are viruses discovered where are the most viruses found viruses found in asia and africa so often this is the central theme of the news then we will be looking into the way forward and in the end we will be seeing a prelims mcq and a mains practice question this topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 health section so let's get started and see the news this news has been taken from the explained section of indian express and it reads why have africa asia seen so many dangerous viruses emerge recently it talks about that why is it that all the viruses or the diseases outbreak that has happened in the recent past are all mostly belonging to the region of african or asian so first we will be looking into why and second is africa and asia so first let's see the news see recently the monkeypox zika virus and ebola virus uh, and etc are uh, discovered in african region while the emergence of corona virus is uh, the studies that says it belongs to the asian region and the diseases were first reported in either asia or africa is there any particular region is it possible that any particular region is more prone to the new viral outbreaks as compared to the older regions so first let us look at what is virus see a virus is a non cellular microscopic infectious agent that can only that can only replicate inside a host cell so a virus does not have cells and a, see when a virus is alone then it might not be that dangerous the virus becomes dangerous when it enters into the host cell because after entering into the host cell it takes over the uh, mechanism of replication and that is when the virus becomes extremely dangerous when it starts to replicate itself now how are viruses discovered so virus virus discovery is linked to outbreaks of diseases wherever the diseases outbreak will take place there only the virus will be found because after the disease comes to news then only the scientist or the researchers starts to look into it that how the uh, disease came out or how what is the virus or the bacteria which is responsible for the disease then according to penn university professor a combination of extensive field work through lab testing and quite a bit of luck so the penn university professor is saying that virus discovery is a combination of extensive field work through lab testing and quite a bit of luck also is required as nowadays many viruses that simply exist in nature are not causing any harm to the life around them and many that live in animals do not get detected for years when they come to news or when they come when they make news is when the uh, human comes in contact with the animals and a disease and a outbreak of disease takes place and what is that disease called that disease is called zoonotic diseases it is when the humans come in contact with the animals and a disease happens and the examples are covid 19 monkey pox ebola plague rabies then people and their food animals are not 
stationary they keep on changing from one place to another place and the place where researchers find the first infected person is not necessarily to the place where the virus first emerged like see what this line says is that it is not necessary that where the disease where it is first recorded is where the virus is also found for the very first time it can be possible that virus was found somewhere else while the disease was reported for the first time somewhere else they both can be different then genetic information of viruses is decoded to understand their possible origins because genetic information tells almost about anything about the virus or the individual for the individual also we look for the genetic information then infectious disease outbreaks starts with unusual patterns and the most critical part is to identify the pathogen which is involved in it now where are most viruses found where are they found then according to the world health organization disease outbreak news cases of known and unknown diseases are of concern and they are mostly not found and known and unknown diseases and this talks about from january 2021 to the present day that majority of cases were reported in asian and african countries so since january 2021 to the present day most of the cases were reported in the asian and african countries this can be an important point as you have the authentic world health organization who uh, is saying this so you can quote the world health organization name and can write in your mains answer that majority of the cases were reported in asian and african countries and 63% increase in the number of zoonotic outbreaks in africa between 2012 and 2022 as compared to earlier 2001 and 2011 so from 2001 to 2011 the number of zoonotic outbreaks that took place was less than 63% so as compared to 2001 and 2011 the 2012 and 2022 period saw the 63% increase in the number of zoonotic diseases in africa and we have just dis discussed what is zoonotic disease when the humans come in contact with the animals and they take up a disease then that is called the zoonotic disease so these two points can be very important so you can write it in your mains answer writing practice then according to reuters report from 2016 what it says that west africa was at the highest risk for zoonotic bat viruses west africa then the sub saharan africa regions the south east asia were also found to be the hot spots for the outbreak of diseases this is according to the reuters not according to the who uh, the earlier one the 63% point was according to the who and this is according to the reuters report then the data published was between that is taken was between 1900 to 2013 so the sub saharan region and the southeast asian region are the two regions which are mainly in news because of the outbreak of the diseases that is taking place in the recent past now viruses found in asia and africa so often so what are the reasons that in asia and african regions the outbreak of diseases or the viruses are found so frequently so few of the reasons can be first is that humans in these continents have a greater chance of coming in contact with animals as if you will see that the population of these two these two regions are also very high the uh, asian population as we are all aware about the china or the india is so high uh, and they are extremely densely populated regions also so the contact between the uh, wildlife and the humans is very much so the chances of the outbreak of diseases increases a lot many times as compared to the other regions 
देन द ड्रोमेटिक एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव चेंज दैट मैनी कंट्रीज आर अंडर गोइंग एज द लीस्ट डिवेलप्ड नेशन एंड द डिवेलपिंग कंट्रीज ऑफ बोथ एफ्रीका एंड एशियन नेशन आर ट्राइंग टू डू दे आर बेस्ट दे आर टेकिंग मैनी अदर स्टेप्स ऑल्सो एंड दे आर ऑल्सो ट्रांस गोइंग थ्रू ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू बिल्ड देम सेल्व टू बी ऑन द ग्लोबल स्टेज वेरी वेल सो दिस वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स कैन बी दैट इन द यूनाइटेड किंगडम्स when the industrialization process was going on in the 18th and the 19th century then the outbreak of cholera and typhoid took place so during the 18th and the 19th century due, uh, industrialization process the cholera and the typhoid outbreak took place in the united kingdom this is also what is happening in the asian and african region because they are also going through a dramatic and a transformative change they are also changing they are becoming a manufacturing hub they are importing a lot many things they are up exporting a lot many things they are entering into new new fields so this is what is happening and changing then increased frequency and reach of travel as compared to early, earlier times now the people are connected to each other the intercontinental the interstate the inter country travel is becoming very much and is easily happening and the frequency the number of times the people are traveling from one place to another place is also increasing so the more the more they travel the more prone they become to the diseases then changing patterns of land use changing diet war and social upheaval see nowadays if you will see that the obesity is increasing so much in people uh the card the ratio or the age of cardiac arrest is decreasing now even the people of late 30s and 40s are so prone to cardiac arrest uh this is what is changing in the lifestyle the changing diet and everything is and then war also plays a major role as when wars happen then there are a lot of negative which happens uh with regard to the ecosystem it destroys the ecosystem and plus the human health also takes a back because many uh, they get so prone to the negative circumstances in which they live and the negative ecosystem ecosystem that they get used to then uh, when we talk about africa in particular then what can be the reasons the reasons can be climate change uh, climate change is responsible for the outbreak of water borne diseases land borne diseases and many other diseases the skin cancer is increasing uh, the cataract problem of eyes are also increasing as because of climate change the global warming is increasing uh, the ozone layer depletion is taking place then the growth in urbanization and infrastructure development and clearing of biodiversity rich areas these two points are interconnected as the more and more uh, region will be required for in, uh, urbanization or infrastructure then the more di biodiversity rich areas will be cleared and that is when the humans and the wildlife or the humans and the animals come in closer contact with each other then poor health system uh, are uh, the covid 19 exposed the health systems of almost every country and this has brought everyone's attention that the health system needs to be upgraded and needs to be improved then more interactions among species in the last few decade uh, this is also one of the examples can be the um, uh, the what happens what we saw in china wet market so what is a wet market actually see it is a place where live animals are packed together and they are up for sale so the animals are living the live animals are packed together so that is when the virus can move from one species to another species now let's talk about the asian region in particular that is the dense forest is one of the major regions and the culture of consuming wildlife this is very prominent in the re uh, asian region Con uh, culture of consuming wildlife as we consider wildlife to be of utmost importance and very authentic and credible also because of the medicinal purposes also we are very connected to the wildlife and we consume a lot of wildlife and when we are so much in contact with the wildlife then the chances of 
then the chances of having the virus which is present there also increases now the wet markets as we have just discussed increase in interconnectedness and travel among people globally as we have seen that the covid 19 cases increased in number was one of the reasons was the global travel and special uh, around a year or more than a year the travel the inter country travel or the abroad travel was restricted to stop the spread of covid 19 so these were few of the reasons that why the asian and the african regions are mainly prone to the outbreak of diseases or the outbreak of virus now let's see that what can be the best possible way forward for this and that can be and if the uh, the scientist have said that the if this will keep on going then the trend will be increasing over the time more and more a virus or disease outbreak will take place one of the approach that can be really helpful in stopping this is the one health approach the one health approach so what is one health one health is human health environmental health and the animal health so all these three that is human health environmental health and the animal health is of equal importance it's not that that the human health will be more important than the animal health or the animal health will be more important than the environmental health all three region all three will have equal importance because these are interconnected if one will suffer then the second would automatically suffer it is like the ripple effect if the environment health will not be fine then it will something or the other will happen like for example if the environment or the ecosystem or the earth is not performing well then the tsunami or the cyclone comes then who suffers it is the humans who which suffers the loss of life or the loss of property takes place then we need to avoid over exploitation over exploitation of environment animal or human should not be taking place then timely surveillance should be done so the best for best way forward in this respect is the one health approach now let's talk about a prelims mcq and this is uh, related to the science and technology section now let's see that what is it a virus is made up of you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and the question is a virus is made up of a protein coat and nucleic acid b protein coat and mitochondria c nucleic acid and cell membrane and d nucleic acid cell wall and cell membrane now let's move forward to the last slide for today that is the mains practice question and the question reads what is a virus in recent times why it is observed that virus outbreak have mostly been seen in the african and the asian region elaborate so this is a 10 marker question and the co command in it is first you need to write that what is a virus then why what are the factors that uh, the major outbreak is seen in the asian and the african region and the command given is elaborate so you people can do your answer writing practice so that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing